Okay. Hello, Mike, and welcome to our very first lesson of Easy Spanish with Antonio Leon. That's me, and I will be your host throughout this journey of learning for you, and you will be learning Spanish with your Mexican host, me, Antonio Leon. <laughs> uh, okay. So today we we will cover some very some very basic stuff, and uh, the very f the first one is the word hola. I mean that's a pretty straightforward word. Um, that means hello. And you can use it either in a formal or informal situation. It doesn't really matter if you are in with someone you know or with, or with someone you don't know. Um, you can use hola and you will do just fine. Of course, there are better ways to say hello if you are in a formal situation. Nevertheless, um, you can use hola if you don't know these other words. You will do just fine and you won't be weird. Okay. Now the first, the very first. Now, the first phrase that you, we are going to use is ¿Cómo estás? Okay? And that means, how are you? And uh, yeah, that's also straightforward, that's how you ask how someone is doing, okay? And uh, just take into consideration that this is the informal version. We will get to the formal version in just a moment, okay? So, ¿Cómo estás? means, how are you? Okay? Now, note that I underlined this word, okay? So, estás, that is the verb conjugation for the word, for the verb to be in Spanish, okay? And uh, we won't get to that um, in this lesson. Today we are co going to cover just the basic, okay? But take into consideration that this means for you, okay? The singular you. Now, muy bien, gracias. ¿Y tú? This is also very basic. Muy bien means very well or very good, okay? Bien means good and muy is the word for very, okay? And um, gracias is the word for thank you. Y tú, okay? So that's also pretty straightforward. Y tú, how are you? Uh -huh. um, I'm good, thank you, and you, okay? And um, then the other person would, would reply, yo estoy bien, también, gracias. Okay, so now note that this one is for I. So, tú is for you and yo is for I. Okay, yo estoy. Now, do you remember that I, I underlined this word? Now, this is the same verb but it's conjugated a little differently because this one is for I, for yo, and this one is for you, for tú. Okay, so yo estoy. Bien también, gracias. So this means, I am good too. Thank you. También is the word for too, okay? So I think that this is pretty straightforward. And uh, I will read it again so that you can repeat after me, okay? Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias. ¿Y tú? Yo estoy bien también, gracias. Okay, I will say this one a little slower. Yo estoy bien, también, gracias, okay? Note that these two words are very similar, okay? So, this one is bien, and this one is también, okay? You have to do it with the M, también, okay? Uh, however, they have nothing to do one with other, because this one means good, and this one means too, okay? Okay, now, I'm going to run exactly the same conversation, but... Imagine you are now in a formal situation, okay? Let's say you are with someone you don't know or someone who is older than you, or perhaps like a, a work colleague or your boss, okay? So, as I told you, all that works just fine as well. Um, now, ¿Cómo está? Okay? Note that this word is very similar to the word that we use for you. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo está? Do you the word for you is estás. Now, for you in a formal situation, it's está. Okay? Now, bien gracias. Y usted? This is what I wanted to get to. The usted is the you. It's, it's exactly the same as tú, but in a formal situation. So you don't want to say y tú. You will say y usted. Okay? Bien también gracias. It's exactly the same as the rest of it. So if you are going to answer you are, uh, for yourself, you are going to answer for yo estoy bien, that's exactly the same, okay, it doesn't change. 
But if you want to ask something to the other person, you will ask for usted, okay? Instead of you, it's usted. And uh, esta is the uh, verb conjugation for usted, okay? Okay, so now imagine you are in a very, very formal situation, like a business meeting or something like that, and you, you want to sound like really proper, okay? You want to, uh, you, you want to sound really posh, and, um, uh, and you don't want to say hello, just in case it is way too formal, okay, the situation. And um, as I told you, hola should do just fine if you don't know these expressions, if you can't remember that or, or you don't know which one to use. All I should do just fine, but if you want to be even more polite, then you can say one of these expressions, okay? I will explain them in a minute. Um, in, Mexi in Mexico, we have a very straightforward way to distinguish um, which one to use. So let's say um, it's between 6 a.m., okay? Kind of. And, uh, and 11, 59 a.m., okay? Just between those hours, you would say, buenos dias, okay? So imagine um, you got to work at 10 a.m., you would say buenos dias, okay? Uh, if you got uh, to work at 11.30 uh, a.m., you would say buenos dias, okay? It's up to 11.59, that's, that's when it changes. So when it becomes 12 p.m., it becomes buenas tardes, right? So imagine it is between 12 and 7, kind of, you would say buenas tardes, okay? Um, in Mexico, it, it gets dark in the in, in the winter. It gets dark at around six, I think. Yeah, so it gets dark at around six p.m. and uh, so in summer it gets dark at around uh, eight eight p.m. So you can say Buenas tardes from twelve p.m. to the moment it gets dark. Okay, when the sun is um, when the sun is out then you will start saying good buenas noches, okay? Now, in English you would say buenas noches or good night only when you're going to sleep, right? But in, in Mexico we don't. In Mexico we can say buenas noches even if we're saying hello, you know? Um, imagine you, you go to a store and you want to say hello in a proper way and you will say buenas noches, all right? And um, now, note that it is buenos and then buenas, okay? It changes a little bit because in Spanish we have the gender dis uh, distinction, okay? In, in English you would say good morning, good night, good whatever, and then you would say good, okay? It's just one word. Now in Spanish we have different words depending on the gender or on the amount of things, okay? In this case, I don't know why we say días, which it's actually the plural way of día, which día means day, so this would translate as buenos dias, um, good days, okay? Buenas tardes, good afternoons, and buenas noches, good nights, okay? Now, remember in Spanish we don't have evening, okay? So it's only buenos dias, buenas tardes, and buenas noches. And now I told you how to use them, okay? Now, to end this episode, as a quick revision, remember we used yo, which means I, okay? Tu, which means you. And this is in the singular form, okay, so it's only you, and informal, okay, and usted, which means also you, in the singular form, and the formal version of the word, okay. So, this is everything for today. Don't worry if you are a bit confused or if you thought it was very basic. We will have more episodes in the future, okay. So, if you like this lesson and want to see more, Click on the subscribe button and I will let you know when I upload new material, okay? Yeah, I promise to do it as often as I can. And um, so I think that's pretty much everything for now. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and adios.